Welcome to this demo for Epicor LaserCat 3 eCatalog. LaserCat 3 is the most comprehensive parts catalog in the automotive aftermarket industry. It provides access to over 7.5 million parts from more than 7,000 manufacturer lines. LaserCat 3 includes Part Expert Editor, a powerful tool that lets users modify the way catalog data is displayed on their system. It provides options for adjusting and revising catalog data display so you can fine-tune LaserCat 3 to best suit the needs of your business. In this chapter, we'll demonstrate how to use Part Expert Editor to modify an existing part, add a new part to be displayed, and more. It's important to note the changes you make using Part Expert Editor only affect your local system, not Epicor's data tables. To view your modified part descriptions, you must set LaserCat 3 to display parts lookups by manufacturer. If you display lookups in part description order, your changes will not appear. Part Expert Editor is an executable program located in the WebCat directory on the C drive of the system where LaserCat 3 resides. Find partexpertediter.exe in that directory and double click to open it. Part Expert Editor's initial screen displays all the parts you have previously modified when using this tool. The first time you use it, the fields will be empty. To preserve previous changes, add new changes to the bottom of this list. The action header at the right shows how part data display has been modified for specific part numbers. Change means some or all of the original part data has been replaced. Replace means the original part is not shown and a new part is displayed. Add means the original part remains and a new part is also displayed. Hide means the original part has been hidden. And new means a part has been added that is not based on an existing part. The buttons at the bottom of this screen let you access Part Expert Editor's principal functions. You can modify an existing part or add a new part to be displayed. These actions build a list of parts maintained by Part Expert Editor as records. You can edit a part on the list, delete a part from the list, print or export your list with the Report button, and import that list back into Part Expert Editor. We'll demonstrate each of these functions in detail. First, we'll demonstrate how to modify an existing part. Click the Modify Existing Part button to access the Changed Part Editor window. In this example, we'll be making changes to a FRAM fuel filter with the part number G7315. Find the manufacturer by using the drop-down menu in the Manufacturer field and then key in the part number here. In the Changes Effect section of the screen, you can choose to make your changes anywhere the part number is used or just for a particular vehicle or group. Click the radio button for part number used with vehicle or group and then use the drop-down selections for year, make, model, and engine. You can select part group using the same method. The original part section of the screen allows you to specify what changes should be made to the original part. The show hide radio buttons determine whether the original part record is displayed or hidden. To replace a part description, click this checkbox and then type the new part description in the field to the right. To replace the year range, click this checkbox and then use the drop down menus in the From and To fields to specify the new range. If you want to show the original comment for the specified part, click this checkbox. To add a new comment, click this checkbox and type to enter your new comment. You can add to an existing comment or replace it. If you want to add to an existing comment, make sure the Show Original Comment box is checked. The New Part section of the screen allows you to add a new part that will be displayed when a specific existing part record is returned from the catalog. The new part can be displayed in addition to the original part or it can replace the original. When you add a new part this way, it will always be associated with the original part record. 
To add a new part that is not to be associated with another catalog record, click Add New Part instead of Modify Existing Part on Part Expert Editor's Initial Parts Listing screen. We'll demonstrate that process in a moment. If you want to display a new part number, check the show box and enter the new part to be displayed in the field to the right. Part numbers can be up to 13 characters in length. If you want to use the part description from the original part, leave the Replace Part Description box unchecked. If you want to use a different part description for the new part, click the check box and type to enter the new part description. Remember to sort your data in manufacturer order in LaserCAD 3 to see the new part description. To specify a different year range for the new part, click the Replace Year Range checkbox and select the range using the drop-down menus. If you want to display a new comment for the new part, click the Add Comment checkbox and type to enter the new comment. To use the comment from the original part, leave this unchecked. After confirming all the information on the screen, click OK. To add a new part that is not to be associated with another catalog record, click Add New Part on Part Expert Editor's Initial Parts Listing screen. New added parts are always displayed before catalog parts and are only displayed when viewing in manufacturer order. When you click the Add New Part button, the New Part Editor screen will open. Key in the manufacturer name and part number of the part to be added in the fields at the top of the screen. Use the Group drop-down list to specify a parts group. The vehicle type will typically be set to cars and light trucks. You can select other vehicle types such as power sports for motorcycles, ATVs, snowmobiles, and personal watercraft. Use the Year, Make, Model, and Engine drop-down lists to specify the vehicle. The Part Information section of the screen allows you to review and revise the part information that will be displayed in the catalog, including user line code, part description, year range, and comments. After confirming all information, click OK. Let's return to Part Expert Editor's Initial Parts Listing screen to review the functions of the additional buttons at the bottom of the window. To edit the data for a catalog record, click the Edit button. That will open the Changed Part Editor screen for the highlighted record. Edit the record using the same steps we demonstrated for modifying an existing part. Clicking the Delete button will delete the highlighted record. The list of parts that you have changed or added can be saved onto your PC. The Import button allows you to find that list on your PC and import it back into the Part Expert Editor. To save the list of changed or added parts onto your PC, click the Report button to open the Catalog Change Report screen. You can save the list by printing or exporting using the Print and Export options. When you choose the Export option, you can browse the directories on your PC to select where you want to save the report and then name the file. The report is saved as a CSV file, which can be opened and manipulated in a spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel. Part Expert Editor is a powerful tool that lets you modify the way catalog data is displayed on your system so you can fine-tune LaserCAT 3 to best suit the needs of your business. Are you interested in learning more? Contact us to learn how to get the Epicor LaserCAT 3 advantage. Email us at automotive.marketing at epicor.com. Visit us online by clicking the link posted below this video or call 800-380-9015.